Hello, this is your evil twin, welcoming you back to Let's Play Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. And it's time for us to rescue another scientist. And... Prevent littering. Okay then. <laughs> Rex's reaction is just an exasperated sigh. Busy going after him. Well, that's that guy dead. Um, can I distract him again? Yes, he goes for the heart. Okay, somehow he managed to laser blast me after he had already exploded. Still, that was pretty quick and relatively painless. And uh, yes, I've unlocked a new skill, Heavy Beatdown. So uh, yeah, I can now do takedown attacks on uh, heavies and flamers. Doc, I found some kind of ancient mystical fucking magic door. You found where the keeping the kill star. I think it was an ancient temple to the dragons. Though I couldn't say who built it. The what? Oh, I'm sure I mentioned it. The Kill Star. The wrist mega laser cannon that we were building. Uh no. I'm positive I did. The weapon that could level tanks, and the only surefire way of killing Sloan and stopping this terrible ordeal. Doc, how do I get in? You can't. Not yet. The door only opens for the worthy. That's what Sloan said. Worthy, huh? Looks like I got a few more guys to kill. Not ready yet, huh? I'll be back. <laughs> Alright. Time to take out these dastardly Omega Force guys that have been littering these ruins. That would be a heavy beatdown. I'm say this uh, temple ruins made uh, quite a nice change of scenery from the other hostage rescue missions. Feels quite different to the others. At least the same path I live with the dinosaurs on it. The hostage is under attack. Protect the cyber nerd. Job done. Come here, scientific genius triumphs again. With your help, of course. That lab work won't get done by itself. Well, maybe the nanobots will, but the rest won't.
You're free! But I have a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> there we go. Um, hey, you've, you've already got your lunch. Sorry, guy. Should have just been happy with that scientist that I gave you. Hear the hiss of a television set. I hope I don't have to collect any fucking flags. I think we've heard that one enough by now. Time to reap the rewards, and it's the full auto upgrade for the Phasertron assault rifle. Ah, plenty more goodies to look forward to. I'll also, um, yeah, swap out the bow for the awesome sniper rifle. In fact, yes, got. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, big box of ammo upgrade that I haven't purchased yet. Cobracon sniper rifle with exploding bullets is pretty awesome, but I've got to say, I think the minigun, Terra 4000, is useful for pretty much everything. I appreciate the fact that they let you carry it around and use it as a standard weapon rather than make it a sort of limited use special weapon. Oops, sorry random scientist dude. Whoever thought this was fun, I'm gonna collect your head and put it on my wall. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I don't mind collecting the videotapes, but the TV sets are just tedious. Oh boy, another one down. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, you're a lousy shot! Give me glasses! Give Oh my God. <laughs> he was dead tired. <laughs> ah, that one's a classic. Teacher Phil, your flight attendants are Susan and Lance. We're here to make your trip as comfortable as possible. Excuse me. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. I think I already got 
that one earlier. Here we are. Oh, a wonderful film about the love of dance. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, let's check out the descriptions of the animals. They're pretty great. Uh, apparently the tigers are black and white tigers. Um, tigers crossed with zebras, no explanation for the glowing eyes. And the panthers are cyber panthers. Uh, yeah, saying, you know, black panthers are already badass, cyber panthers are even more awesome. Robocrocs. Scientists up the ante by giving them implants. Uh, it's funny for about three seconds. And uh, yes, got the robo dogs. Dogs which somehow dispose of their own poop. Mutated cassowaries which are still pretty useless, flightless birds, but mutated enough to be smart enough to realize that. And we've got the mutant buffaloes. It's like, why on earth would Mother Nature decide to mess with such creatures? And the devil goat. Um, yeah, the first time I saw one of these, it, I did think it seemed pretty demonic, and that was actually what they were going for. Oh, and the boar. Um, it's still just a boar. It's not mutant, it's not robotic. Um, someone's painted the word Sloan on it, but it's just a boar. And of course the blood dragons, um, which are almost blind as a consequence of shooting fire from their eyes. But who cares? They can shoot fire from their eyes. Boom, baby! I got the third. Peek a boom. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Right, I think it is time that we took over another garrison. These helicopters have got pilots in them, so I bet that if the alarm gets set off, uh, these helicopters will take off and attack me. So let's set a little trap, be ready for that. Stick some explosives on. Ah. And okay, not only did the explosives not stick, but. Uh, they could hear me dropping the explosives. That's ridiculous. Okay, this has all gone wrong. This has all gone completely wrong. I was too clever for my own good. Way to die on a job, didn't shitter. Pretty cool. Can uh, actually shoot the pilot. Down it goes. Nice! Took out someone on the ground. I... I don't want to climb down here. Climbing down a ladder with no help seems like a really bad idea. Yeah. 
down cover. Ah! He knocked me out of the air! God, they whacked me again! Dear me! Yeah, you thought that you were safe now that I was no longer on that minigun turret. But I brought my own. Now this little piggy went to the moor. <laughs> there we go. Well, that didn't exactly go to plan. But uh, in this game, uh, you can have quite a lot of fun when things don't go to plan. Kill the officer to avoid more claims. <laughs> okay. Seriously. We're going to kill someone in Omega Force to stop them from doing insurance claims. Turns out that this mission requires you to use the Robocop pistol, the AJM-9. So um, I actually swapped my weapons about, made sure that I was already equipped with one. Otherwise I'd have to pick up an ordinary one without any attachments or upgrades. But uh, if you're already equipped with the pistol, then you know, you get to do the mission with all the uh, attachments that we've got. It's supposed to be silent. Oh. Well, perhaps it didn't help that I did it in plain view of everybody else. <laughs> Good grief. So many shots of the pistol. Ah, there we go, that's the Elite dead. And I think I'm about to die. Yep, there we go. But that shouldn't actually matter, because I completed the objective. So, once I've respawned, it should still be complete. Uh, yes, I earned the semi-auto upgrade. So, now I can use the Cobacon sniper rifle without having to pull the bolt after every shot. Nope, I can't use that, so I've got to drop into the hole. Now, I'm just going to figure out how to get back out. Hmm. That was tedious. Dun 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 dun. There we go. Got my first cyber shark. I encountered them before when uh, swimming around during the dam mission, but um, didn't really have any way to uh, attack one of the sharks. What is this glowing? Okay. Um, seems harmless, doesn't seem to do anything. <sighs> Does something! Huh. Not sure why I didn't do that before. Cyber Shark! And there's a, a fun reference to a Saturday Night Live sketch sharks actually coming to people's homes and ringing the doorbell. <laughs> the uh, glowing thing was a uh, glowing moray eel. So, um, yeah, now you won't get a nasty surprise sticking your hand into places as you'll uh, see this eel glowing in advance. 
yeah, it's kind of weird how um, it didn't do anything until I swam, actually swam over a few times. Road hog, or rather, sea hog, river hog, I don't know. Um, okay, can't actually use any weapons. Um, I suppose I could climb out and then jump on top, but I think it's best to just drive away. Um, in fact, I think I shall attack this sea fortress. New objective received. Yeah. Eliminate all enemies. No problem. <gasps> I haven't really gone into this with any sort of plan. Um, he just fell into the water and immediately drowned. I guess, uh, Omega Force Cyber Soldiers aren't waterproof. Actually, it's, uh, it's a thing in normal Far Cry 3 as well, that, um, nobody can swim except for air. Oh, someone just hit me. Um, I wonder if I can actually grenade the boats. Yes, I can! Flamers as well. Uh, can't. I can't do anything. I can't attack this guy because I'm too busy burning to death. Everybody's knocking me over today. Um, what is ah, heavy beat down on that flavor? 
Well, I know I um yeah, I triggered the alarm, so the reinforcements. But I've got to say, this this garrison has got a lot of enemies. Um, to fight two heavies, two flamers. I'm gonna tuck you into your deathbed, and your blanket is six feet of my shit. That is amazing. Um, I'm uh, I'm gonna remember that one. <laughs> That's the money shot. Alright, I am now the proud owner of my very own Sea Fortress. Yeah, uh, I had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. Uh, if you did, please do join me next time.